what's up guys welcome back once again it is me Malt. so happy to be here with you guys as always um, and today we have another episode of subscriber based reviews I'm sitting here early in the morning drinking some coffee there we go trying to wake up a little bit but um, we have some Town Hall 6 reviews to do today, guys. If you want your base to be reviewed or have a chance at being reviewed, send it to basereviewswithmolt at gmail.com and make sure you title it what Town Hall you are and what level you are as well. Otherwise, I won't open it because I have way too many emails in there and that just makes it easier for me. Um, and if you do not get reviewed, guys, I'm sorry, but there's like 600 emails. Just try and take what I say about other bases and apply it to yours and you should be good but let's go ahead and jump into this thing we have INR 1420 um, looks like a pretty max out Town Hall 6 as you can see he is upgrading his Town Hall right over here getting ready to move on up um, I do have a couple of things on here that I would suggest when it comes to changing the layout it looks like you are almost all maxed besides your archer towers right there um, and your air defense but after that you're gonna be good all your walls are maxed awesome job with that your wizards your mortars your cannons etc etc um, but here's the layout that I would do okay so first of all I would take this mortar right here and I would move it right here to where this archer tower is okay and then I would take this archer tower and I would put it out on the outside for right now okay um, what you really want to do is have it be laid out like this. We'll do mortar. Right, we'll do mortars in blue. Okay, so we'll have mortars right here, and then and then white is going to be wizards. Okay, so I will put wizards right uh, right like this. So I'll put those next to each other so that you get a good coverage. Right now your wizards are just over here on this side, so they aren't protecting the whole base. And then your mortars are on this side, so they aren't protecting the whole base. So once you do that, you should be good to go. Um, I would switch those out. And then I would also make sure to spread out your point defenses. Right now you have cannon, cannon, cannon all next to each other. So what I would suggest doing is doing cannon, um, archer, cannon, archer, cannon, archer, whatever, all the way around the base. That way you will um, have all of your defenses spread out well. But otherwise, the base looks really good, man. I like it. You're doing good for Town Hall 6. I think you're ready for an upgrade. Um, so, yep, yeah, you're already on the way. Good job, Iron Near 1420, <laughs> whatever your name is. All right, let's move on, guys, to number two. We have Keelan365, exclamation point. And he has a... Um, pretty good layout as well and it looks like the majority of his stuff is maxed out as you can see his air defense is um and where is your other ar oh your other archer towers up there so one of his archer towers right here is maxed out and it looks like the other two are in the process of being maxed out as well mortars are maxed all the defenses are pretty much maxed um so awesome job with that to start off with you do still have your walls to upgrade it's good to see that you have the core upgraded um, with all of this around here so good job with that I do like the layout of this with your mortars right here in the middle as well as your air defense and your wizards out here that's awesome that's exactly what you want to do um, it's also really good how you have this is what I was talking about on the last base you have archer cannon archer cannon archer cannon perfect that's exactly what it needs to be um, because that way your base is covered well by all defenses um, which is very very important uh, this Giant bombs kind of random out here. I might not use that. Those are expensive, and if this thing right here doesn't save you uh, that much money, then it's not really worth it. But use them. I do every once in a while. It's fun. Um, one thing that I would consider doing in the center is taking this gold and putting it over here. That way, if someone attacks from over here right now, they would just get a whole bunch of elixir. So if they're looking for elixir to upgrade a troop or something, all they have to do is attack on this side. You know what I'm saying? If you switch those up, then they're going to have to attack from this side as well to get the rest of that elixir. So that's just a good way to um, deter certain attackers from attacking. I know, deter is a big word. I'm sorry, guys. Um, but other than that, man, the base looks awesome. You're doing a good job of upgrading everything. You can still upgrade this gold. I believe you can upgrade your elixir storages as well. Um, so just do that, and otherwise it looks pretty good. Um, if you're in an active clan, you can always consider 
moving your clan castle to the center. I always preach how important that is. Uh, so yeah, let's move on to the next one. A very pixelated picture, the real JMP. Guys, please try and send me good, high quality pictures. It'll make it a lot easier to review. Um, so this is a trophy base, which is completely unnecessary at Town Hall 6. Get this guy out of here. Unless you're going for 1,250 trophies, <laughs> trophies, wow. Unless you're going for 1,250 trophies, then you don't need that to be in the middle. There's no reason to protect your town hall. Um, so kick that out, and then if I were you, I would do a layout like one of these two guys. Um, that's what I would consider doing. It looks like you have upgraded some of your buildings, but you still have work to do on your wizards, um, your archers. All of your cannons are upgraded except for this one. But I would suggest upgrading your mortars and your wizards first and foremost. Always, as you upgrade throughout the town halls, always do your splash damage first because it does the most damage um, to the most amount of troops. Goodness, sorry. Um, and another thing you need to do right now, you have a whole bunch of walls in the middle, and I like that because it adds a bunch of sections. But the only problem with it is that because you've done that, you have one, two, three, four defenses that are completely unprotected. Someone could drop three, two giants and a couple archers and just take all those out. Um, so I would, I know the troop composition is probably different, so don't comment below and say it would take more than three giants. But all I'm saying is that you should probably um, consider redesigning your base, obviously, like I said, like one of the first two, um, and just keep upgrading your defenses, splash defenses first, like I always say, and uh, you should be good to go, all right? So keep on working and keep on upgrading, um, and you'll get there. You should be able to upgrade town halls in, I don't know, a couple weeks if you, if you work hard enough. Let's move on to the most pixelated picture you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> I can't even read this guy's name. Um, it looks like it says Ernst Eklickly. I've, I've got no idea what the freak your name is. Um, again, guys, please try and send high-res photos. Um, it'll make it a whole lot easier for all of us. So this is a good base. I see you have your clan castle in the middle. Awesome. Your mortars are almost both maxed. You're waiting on that one. Your wizards can go up one more level. Um, your archers can go up one more level. I do like seeing these triangulated like this. That's pretty cool on this base. So good job with that. And you are doing what I said to do as well. You have cannon, archer, cannon, archer, cannon, archer. So perfect job with that. That's exactly what you need to do. Uh, great work there. Um, and your other things are spread out well. Your, your mortars and your wizards are spread out pretty well. So you're doing good with that. Um, a couple things that I do notice about this that I would change is these spring traps right down here. Uh, if you're going to, if you're trying to get rid of giants, those aren't going to work too well because if anyone deploys right here, they're going to head straight for this cannon um, because it is the closest defense. So I mean, I could be completely wrong in this, but I doubt that those ever get hit by giants. They probably get hit by other stuff. Um, but I wouldn't say they would get hit by giants. As well as this one right here, it's directly in front of a elixir collector. So if giants get deployed out here, they're going to head right over here to this archer and completely miss this thing. Um, so I consider moving that as well. I do like the layout of the base. Obviously, you still have your walls to upgrade. Uh, your air defense is very important. Um, I used to preach that it wasn't, but now I'm starting to realize how important it is. Um, that was a long time ago, though, like when I first started. So upgrade your air defense as well and splash defenses first and then oh man I'm tired sorry guys and then that'll be it so good job name that I can't read <laughs> keep on working um, you're gonna get there soon enough you do still have a lot of upgrading to do but the layout isn't too bad so good job next we have a really high resolution picture look at that thing that's what I'm talking about um, Lego CXNT good job with sending me a great picture uh, it looks awesome um, one thing, obviously, that I said about the other ones is Town Hall right now. Get it out of here. Kick them out. We don't want them in the family anymore. Get them out of the base. You are moving up to Town Hall 7. You're a little bit closer to 1250 trophies, and you only have five gems. So I imagine that you're going for that, which is okay. Once you hit that, kick that thing out um, and use a different Town Hall 7 base. And you should be happy. Gosh. I need to start getting more sleep. Quit making videos. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, 
So overall, your base looks really good, actually. You do have, this is a maxed uh, archer tower. This one is not. This one is moving up to max. Uh, so you're doing good there. Also, you have maxed out wizards, maxed out mortars. And I believe that, it, yep, that's a maxed out air defense as well. And also your cannons. So you're doing awesome with that. With that. Um, but I would just redesign the base a little bit when it comes to uh, your town hall not being in the middle. I also might bring this gold in. Gold's very important when you're upgrading. Um, it shouldn't be there. I know it's empty right now since you only have 127 and you're trying to protect this. So if you're active and you can get on enough to switch them out, go ahead and do that. Um, in fact, I would encourage it. But if you're not as active getting on all the time, then I would keep your gold more centralized. Um, you've done a good job as well of doing cannon, archer, cannon. On this side, I might do, since you only have one cannon left, I might do archer cannon archer and then uh do something with this guy bring him over here or something um because they should be even they should be even throughout the base um but really overall man the base looks good all your walls are maxed which is one of the hardest parts of any level is maxing out the walls so you're doing good there i would just consider uh kicking this big guy out you do have five days left but i guess you probably sent this email like four days ago so maybe you don't maybe you're already up um, but other than that, it looks good. So as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. If your base did not get reviewed, try and use the tips that I, uh, that I commented on today, and they should help you out. Um, use any of these bases that you want to if you want. Uh, it doesn't really matter. And yeah, guys, go ahead and send more emails to basereviewswithmolt at gmail.com. Put your town hall in the title as well as your level, and we will keep on doing this. I need some town hall 10, so you got one that you want me to review, send it on over. That's going to be the next vid. Um, and that is it, guys. Y'all are awesome. You're so much cooler than me. I appreciate all the support. We are growing so fast. We are almost up to 8,000. Like, we just hit 7,000. Come on. Uh, let's keep pushing to the top, guys. I'm having a lot of fun doing this. Comment. Stay involved. Um, you guys are awesome, and as always, make sure that you keep calm and clash on for me, right? I'll see you guys later.